Oh, okay. Uh, we are on live. Uh, well, not really on live, but we are recording. Hi, everyone. My name is Vanessa. I am the founder of Humans of Beekeeping. So if you don't know Humans of Beekeeping, it's a page where we promote and raise awareness around different beekeepers around the world. But today, we have a special guest. She's from France, and her name is Laurine. Um, Laurine is living, I think, 60, km, 60 kilometers down south from Paris. And um, yeah, she's going to tell us all about her. Laurine, bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Tell us about you. Hello. Um, so I began uh, beekeeping in 2016. Um, Uh, before my husband offered me a hive uh, at uh, Christmas 2014. Uh -huh. And, and um, because I was always talking of beekeeping with, uh, with him and uh, because I, I've got two colleagues um, uh, at work, uh, which has begun uh, beekeeping. And uh, that's why uh, I feel like to, to begin with... with uh, With that wonderful world, <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, um, I went to 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 um, in French we call that uh, an apiary school, apiary school, a club. Cool. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I went there for two seasons mm -hmm. uh, to learn uh, the the good practice mm -hmm. and uh, and to be able to to manage. Uh, Um, a little apiary and I've got uh, now uh, donc here it's the winter in mm -hmm. France so uh, my hive uh, are um, uh, hibernate yeah hibernate how do you say hibernate <laughs> uh, this is <laughs> like exactly the same word but we say it like differently so you say hibernate and we say hibernating or some words like that but like the 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 e en français is high. High. <laughs> so Hibernating. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and I um, at the beginning of winter, I've uh, I had uh, seven hives. Cool. And uh, in the middle, enfin, don. Comment tu dis don? Don't. Don't, uh, plusieurs, uh, 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 <laughs> a mist. <laughs> J'ai, I've got seven hives, yeah, and um, in that seven hives, I've got one top bar hive, okay, and two six, um, and two uh, six uh, six frames, uh, six frames dad on hive because I'm working on dad on hive. Not uh, not like uh, like you uh, in Australia. You you are working in Langstroth hives. Yeah. Um, can, you tell, can you tell us the difference in uh, Dadon hive and Langstroth hive? Uh, the difference is mm -hmm. and so uh, Dadon hive is a much much bigger. Not much bigger, but uh, it's a bigger hive than the Langstroth. It's uh, it's deeper. It's more, yes. Yeah. Yes, and um, in the body of the hive, the, the brood is uh, like you. Um, it's wide. It's more. It's wider. Hmm? Yeah. Is that correct? Hard. Yes. Yeah. Than in a Langstroth, and yeah. it's uh, and you you put the the like, like you what you what you are calling um, what you are calling uh, your supper for the Langstroth. Yeah. You we have that too uh, for the storage of the honey, mm -hmm. and. Um, I, I think the, the difficulty, it's one of the difficulty of to, to do beekeeping with Dadon. It's, uh, it's much heavier yes. to, uh, to move. Yeah. But um, as I'm not, uh, I'm, I, don't I don't practice uh, migrate, uh, my, 
migration. I don't, yeah. I don't remember what you say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I, I don't have to, to move the body of my hives. Yes. Uh, so um, I put them at uh, in their um, in their place, and they don't move um, uh, unless uh, with uh, it's uh, if there's no emergency uh, to to move them, I, I don't move them. Yeah, that's not required to move them. That's that's great. That's um, mm. do you have them all in one spot, or do you have them? If I know I have two apiaries. Yeah. Uh, one in my garden. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got uh, four. Um, I had four that on that on hives. Uh, I lost one already in November. Because mm -hmm. uh, last year I, my hives suffered Asiatic cornet. Oh yeah. Okay. It's a real. Uh, it's a big big problem uh, in Europe. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, for now, for the beekeepers, and um, 2018 was uh, really awful. Uh, with uh, we we were uh, totally uh, um, on the e. Yeah, uh, yeah. There, there, there was, was an invasion. <laughs> there was an invasion. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, a lot, a lot. And uh, we, found, personally, I wasn't prepared. Mm. To face uh, to face uh, the, in, to the invasion and the trap I put uh, everywhere, um, I thought it doesn't work um, like uh, last year. Okay. And uh, and my hives uh, weakened. Uh, I've got five uh, five hives. Uh, so two hives on my on my first apiary and um, three hive my three hives uh, in my second apiary. And it's um, at about um, uh, one from uh, from my home. Okay. 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 Yeah. And um, so my my hive weaken weaken a lot. Uh, I. Um, I already lost three hives oh, wow. uh, this winter. Oh, wow. Three hives, so we, I've got now uh, four hives because I, I um, yeah, hibernated uh, mm. uh, seven hives, and uh, it led. Uh, Does it? Voilà. Um, how, how cold is it uh, in winter where you live? Do you have snow? Uh, yes, this year and last year we got snow. Wow! How, how much <laughs> we got before? snow, but it's not uh, very much. Uh, it's, no. uh, okay. And yeah. how cold is it? Like, uh, what temperature? We're talking Celsius, so. Um, temperatures uh, in the negative, it's uh, four four degree under zero. Minus degrees. But minus four degrees. Sorry. Wow. Okay. Minus voila, minus four degrees under zero. Minus right. voila, minus four degrees. <laughs> so <laughs> you, you obviously where you live, you have few challenges, which is varomites, uh, asiatic hornets, the cold. Mm -hmm. um, but what you were telling me, you were working with bucks, buckfast bee. Sorry, my English. Oh. My, uh, we can speak in French, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you work with buckfast bees. How are they? What What's their temperament like? Like, are they hard workers? Do they do well in the cold or in the hot? Well, what's what they like? Um, buckfast bees. Uh, it's um, it's a bee uh, which is um, uh, in winter. They, the um, the difficulty with buckfast bees is that uh, they often need uh, nourishment. Okay. Uh, because uh, because they they need a lot of uh, of uh, they need a lot of food uh, in winter. Mm -hmm. Unlike the the black bee, black oh. bee, uh, uh, which is the endemic bee uh, on the Western Europe. Yeah. Uh, they um, they make uh, breakfast bee makes um, bigger colonies, so yeah. they produce uh, more honey. Okay. They produce more honey than the black bee. Mm -hmm. It's why uh, the black bee uh, nearly uh, 
Nani vanished, and uh, we have a conservatory of black bee mm -hmm. to to be sure the the species uh, didn't disappear, mm -hmm. don't disappear. And the Buckfast bee um, is more is more um, is kinder than the than the black bee. Okay. It's less aggressive. Yeah. Okay. So. so it's a, uh, it's quite, uh, it's more agreeable, it's more fun. I, I don't, I wouldn't say fun, but <laughs> yeah, it's uh, to to work with them. Yeah, it's more enjoyable uh, to work with them. More, more, la, yeah. more, more <laughs> enjoyable to work with them. And um, but uh, another. Um, Difficulty is that uh, uh, is that they swarm a lot. Oh, oh, really? Y yes, they swarm a lot. Uh, well, on, by the way, mine, mine mm -hmm. has been the swarm a lot. So uh, it's difficult to um, to keep uh, to keep the bees. You always have to to split them. Uh, to if you want to keep them, mm -hmm. and um, and as I'm as I'm a hobby beekeeper, mm -hmm. uh, I'm working. Uh, uh, so uh, I I do beekeeping in essentially in the weekends, yeah. uh, in, on my free times. Mm. So in uh, when uh, in spring uh, when uh, in May because. Uh, Oh, in France, uh, the um, in France uh, the spring is uh, begins uh, early early April and uh, uh, to last uh, last June, yeah. and uh, the the swarm period is uh, in May May and May May June, but uh, mostly in May. Okay, and uh, as I'm working often, I. Uh, uh, I come back to to my happy to my apiary after after work, and I I just saw that the, there's a, a cloud of bees uh, take off the, <laughs> the hive and ah, zut! <laughs> and so I'm running, I'm running to to put my my suit and uh, uh, to take my tools, but um, I. The chance I have is that my neighbor is very cool with that. He's a naturalist at oh. um, he's a retired nat naturalist, mm -hmm. and he, he don't mind having uh, having swarm of bees, uh, which uh, to on his on his tree. <laughs> 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 so he, he calls me when he can. But last year he, he didn't succeed to to call me. The the swarm uh, always uh, always found another place uh, to go, and I lost my uh, I, lo I, I lost a, a part of my hive. <laughs> oh wow! So yeah. you obviously you are a hobby beekeeper. Uh, yes. You have your hives. You do it in France. Um, what? Do you feel like you are good at in beekeeping? I'm good at in beekeeping. Um, I must think. A, I must think a, a bit. Um, um, I think I'm good to 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 identify um, if there's a problem uh, with my hives. Okay. I know um, I know quite uh, quite rapidly if uh, if there's a problem, mm -hmm. uh, which facilitate my work with them. Um, yes, yeah, so you, you're very good at like. I think. Um, uh, that's that's pretty. That's pretty all. 
<laughs> that's very good because not many people will know what to look yeah. for and you guys have so much more issue that we do here in Australia which is like mm. it's great yes it's on the other hand what do you think you're not good at um I'm not good uh, to to anticipate okay like um like i i told you uh, the, for when my bees are swarming mm -hmm. i don't um maybe i i could be better to to identify when uh, when they are um, i'm thinking, well well i i know where I'm seeking and um, oh, maybe there I just ten percent uh, of battery, but I put my uh, my charger. Okay, that's good. That's okay. On. <laughs> uh, what's the time? What's the time in France? What? What's the time in France right now? What the time in France? It's uh, nearly. Uh, it's uh, 11 past, uh, 30 past 11. 11. And it's 9 p.m. here in Australia. Woohoo! Yes. <laughs> in Australia, not all of Australia just in Adelaide so far because we have, like, time frames in different, like, big cities. Like in Melbourne, yes. it might be, like, half an hour, in, uh, even further. Or, yeah, it, it just was... Okay crazy <laughs> cool so i um now my question to and you what did you wish you knew before starting beekeeping uh, why do i wish i knew uh, good question <laughs> um maybe um maybe that uh it's um, it's time. Um, ça prend du temps. It's time consuming. Yes, it's time consuming. <laughs> <laughs> um, après, maybe it's because uh, I'm not good uh, to anticipate uh, things, so uh, I think uh, I lost time uh, doing. Uh, um don't know how to to explain uh, cor correctly mm -hmm. um and maybe um i think i i, I had unless that uh, i think i i read a lot of books before beginning beekeeping so uh I don't know why I don't know what uh, what else uh, what else to to answer. Yeah, that's okay. That's that's good. Mm. So I, I feel like uh, you're very not good. You're not you, you feel like you're not good at like time management into your yes time um, management. Yeah, that's right. It, it's uh, it's uh, something that yeah you wish you knew you had more time. Uh, that, uh, actually, yes. it's time consuming and you had more time uh, well you know um you I know i wish i could work i wish i could work less <laughs> that, but that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what all these beekeepers say all the time they wish um they wish they didn't have a job on the side to earn money to leave but uh they're, that's mm. they're working with bees all the time but yeah um what what's the funniest moment you ever had uh during your beekeeping journey the funniest moment. Um, it's not really um, funny. It's um, um, but uh, f for me, it's funny. <laughs> uh, last um, last season, I was gardening uh, in alone in my garden, and um, it was in early March, mm -hmm. and uh, I was gardening near my house. <laughs> And um, like it, it was uh, the beginning of uh, of uh, spring, but more uh, 
the the end of winter, so the the bees were a little tense because uh, they, they they began to 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 be uh, hungry, mm -hmm. and um, I was uh, crouch uh, on the floor to uh, with uh, I was uh, I was cutting uh, cutting leaves, mm -hmm. and um, and a bee went uh, went out of a hive. And uh, as I as I was crouched on the floor, my veil touched my lips, and the bee went straight on my lips, and she stung me. Oh! And it was all swallowed in <laughs> for uh, several days, and uh, and everyone at work or uh, my husband, my children uh, told me, oh. I'm Uh, mommy, uh, it's like you you had Botox. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I mean, I mean, uh, the uh, the big thing on the face is great because everyone just keeps um, laughing at it, thinking that you maybe had Botox, but actually it's a free yes. Botox. <laughs> it just <laughs> caused the life of a bee, and that's a bit sad. Yes. But that's okay, you know, uh, can't be free. Mm. Um, I have a question in regard of viral mites in uh, in France. What do you do? You treat your bees? Yes, I treat my bees uh, with uh, natural products. Uh, I don't use um, uh, chemicals uh, products. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly, it's uh, it's products composed compu composed by uh, essential oils. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, uh, in winter, um, I I had to count uh, the varroa, mm -hmm. the varroa mite. Yeah. Uh, with uh, I uh, I put a, a plate under my hives uh, to see uh, the the fall of the varroa. Yeah. And um, and it depends on the number of the fall. Mm -hmm. uh, I add a treatment of uh, oxalic acid and um, and formic acid. It's a new product uh, uh, which is uh, on the market since uh, I thought maybe one or two years. Mm -hmm. It's um, I don't know if I could uh, tell the name of the product. I don't want to make publicity, maybe. <laughs> And it's a mix. It's a solution. It's a solution, and the um, and the active uh, principle is uh, formic and uh, oxalic acid. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And how often okay. do you do it? What? How often do you do the the, the treatment? Um, two uh, two in a year. I do two. Uh, Um, it depends on the fall of the. It depends on my, uh, on my uh, on the number of varroa I found on the on the plate under my hive. Yeah, but, um, but mostly mostly it's it's uh, two, and if it's a if it's a year with a uh, with a lot of uh, varroa mites, uh, I could do it three times. But mostly it's um, two time two times in the year. Okay. Uh, Do, so do you only work with buckfast bees or do you have black bees too? No, I only have buckfast bees. Okay, but have you seen the difference in uh, between the buckfast bees and varro mites and the black bees and varro mites? Is there uh, I, I never worked with, uh, with black bees because uh, um, in my apiary school uh, they work with buckfast bees too. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I heard some beekeepers uh, telling that uh, black bees are maybe a, a little um, a little stronger with varroa, mm -hmm. mm, but uh, I don't um, uh, I can't uh, verify it because I, I don't, I'm not working with uh, with black bees, and I would like to to work with uh, with that bees because uh, I I heard that um, some black bees, not all, but some black bees, uh, begin to to resist to Asiatic hornet hornets. Oh, okay. 
Oh, uh, yes, there was there's a, a beekeeper who, which uh, he told me he saw uh, one of his um, black bees um, mm -hmm. with an Asiatic cornet uh, in the front uh, of the entrance. Yeah. And uh, and the bees launch on the launch on the on the hornet. Oh wow! And uh, and uh, and when he comes back later, he saw um, he saw several uh, several hornets uh, dead at the front of the hives. Oh wow! <laughs> how, so uh, how big is your garden? I don't understand. How uh how big is your garden? Uh, ton jardin, il est quelle taille? Oh, it's um, it's not so so big. It's uh, about uh, two hundred uh, meter meter square. Okay, so you you wouldn't want to have black bees in there. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's yeah the more aggressive, but I uh, I don't plan to have black bees uh, on my garden, but on okay. my other apiary mm -hmm. in the woods. Okay. Because uh, and because my my husband is um, uh, a little allergic. Oh. To uh, he's got uh, not um, he's not allergic to bees, but he's yeah. uh, he's got um, il a un terrain allergique on dit. Okay. Donc, um, yeah. There's a little trace of it, so yeah. So uh, for the, for this season, for two thousand nineteen uh, season, uh, the, the next spring. <laughs> I... Wait, oh wait! I show you something. Look what it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... It was massive. It was like a big cricket that size. <laughs> I saw it jump uh, in a, in a flash of green. <laughs> This is living in Australia is like, well, I better put my legs up because I'm outside and I don't want any brown snake to bite me. Okay. <laughs> we have like the deadliest snake here in Australia and it's called like the brown snake. And uh, when it's hot, today it was 37 degrees. They like to find cool places and I just uh. got in my garden and I'm a bit scared now. <laughs> okay. Whoops. <laughs> That's okay. It's fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> oh, no, but that's all. <laughs> um, and my, my husband was asking if you were attacked by a snake. Uh, no, no, but no, you know, it's, no, it's, no, no, it's, no, I understood. It's I very understood. normal to have snakes at home here in Australia, like mm. uh, in, in the cage or not in the cage, in an aquarium and, you know, look after them. So mm. it's getting one of those soon. Uh, anyways, I um, think I want to ask you two more questions. Uh, yeah. Is, do you have any tips for new beekeepers? Uh, tips for new beekeepers. Uh, I would advise them to to follow um, to follow uh, apiary to follow um, apiary school uh, courses. Yeah. It's very important uh, to be formed. To uh, I went, uh, I was formed for two seasons, and I, I thought it was very, it was the best thing I do in uh, to begin uh, to begin with beekeeping. Mm. Yeah. Uh, found found the club. Uh, found a club of beekeeping. It's very useful because there's a lot of um, of knowledge to to learn uh, mm -hmm. to learn from all beekeepers uh, with uh, a lot of experience and uh, they could um, they could help you you can work uh, with on your hive with them they, they teach you they teach you and it's very important mm. uh, is there a lot of club in um, like in france where you live? Um, near near my home not so much uh, there's two clubs, and uh, I went to the one uh, nearer of my home. Yeah. Um, and there's another one in a, in a, a town called Avery, uh, mm -hmm. but it's um, it's more in the in the north of the department. Yeah. So it's 
it's don't I, uh, I I prefer to go uh, to go nearer uh, of uh, where I live yeah <laughs> cool um one last question and then I think we 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 good um actually I have some question but um uh, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, where do you see yourself in three years? Three years. Um, in three years, um, <laughs> maybe. Um, I hope I I succeed to have uh, more hives because uh, my husband uh, is interested in making mead. Oh wow! And um, and uh, he would like to to do it with my honey. Fair enough. So That's I would good. like to to be um, to succeed to to harvest uh, more honey in the in in years to come. Um, to to begin uh, to begin uh, a mid production, and we we begin uh, last year, and mm -hmm. uh, and we. We tasted it um, for Christmas and it was good. Oh, good. <laughs> but it was not with my honey because I, I didn't wow. uh, produce enough um, enough uh, last year. I just had uh, 22 kilos of honey. Oh, really? Um, yes. You, and uh, the season, the honey season, uh, the honey seasons, how often, like you say, last year was a bad season, but. Um, the season before was it a good season? Uh, the season before, uh, no. Uh, wow. Last year was uh, for honey. It was a good season, but for the, uh, it was a bad season because um, of the Asiatic hornet. Okay, yeah. So, but and, in I, terms and, of I, and I lost my my house, but uh, uh, with honey, it was a good one. Okay, it was a good one. Uh, a lot of uh, beekeepers I know at my club uh, harvested a lot more than 22 kilos. Yeah, okay. So, uh, but uh, they've got more hives than I do. Mm. Mm. And uh, the previous season, I harvested uh, only only 4.5 um, kilos. Oh, wow. It was not <laughs> Nearly, uh, nearly nothing, but um, uh, I had difficulty to to uh, to harvest my. Uh, um, I have a lot of uh, of. Uh, I was in two thousand seventeen. Mm -hmm. I was with two hives, and mm -hmm. the two hives swarmed, oh. so I couldn't uh, collect. Um, Lots of honey because mm -hmm. uh, I I prefer let the honey for them than they, they, they need it. Fair enough. Mm. Especially it's cold. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> yes, I'm not in a in a in a production uh, logic. Uh, um, I don't. I doesn't. Uh, uh, I do be keeping uh, not for the honey necessarily. <laughs> I, I I take honey when when I can. Oh. If they need it, I I, I let it. I, I like beekeeping just to to have my hands uh, with uh, in the hives and just to be. Uh, uh, I like um, hearing them buzzing uh, around me and uh, and it's. Uh, I think it's it's the best sound ever. <laughs> wow! It's very. It's I I think. Uh, Bees buzzing around you is, is very soothing. It is. It is soothing, indeed. And so I, I love that. Mm. So that that's <laughs> great. I, I feel like uh, I feel like you just said what I didn't ask, which you know, for you, uh, bees are not about honey, but they are about you know, for you to be with them. Um, yes, because you obviously get something from them, and it's not only because it's like something more deeper. Mm. Yes, I like, you, I like what you say about the buzzing is like the best song. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I I think uh, I I love that, and uh, it's very fun. when I meet, when when I'm with my bees, I, I feel relaxed. Oh, really? 
Yes. Like that what 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 does it bring you? Sorry. Madin. Hmm? Madin Arek. Not over there, but the bees. It's over there. Sorry, I have a child. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, I forget what was I saying. Um you just uh, you just tell me you love when I say the I love the, the buzzing uh, the buzzing sound of the yes. bees. I love when you say that and um like it's like it, it brings you something obviously more yes. more deeper. Uh, I, I do be keeping for that. Uh, yeah. I, I like being with my bees. Mm. It's uh, I don't uh, I don't do beekeeping to to harvest honey. It's not it's not the princi- It's not the first uh, the first thing to do for me mm. when uh, when you do uh, beekeeping. That's fantastic. If I if I could have honey, it's great. But if I don't have honey, it um, it's not so doesn't matter. Especially grave. Yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's great. It's fantastic. Um, well, um, okay. So I will have to say thank you so much and uh, mm-hmm. I appreciate your time, Lorraine. Uh, I will mm-hmm. link down below uh, your Facebook page, your Instagram page. Um, yes. <laughs> do you want to can say them in French? So if there's any French listeners, they can actually go straight away. But for any of the English uh, supporters here, uh, I will write mm-hmm. it down down in the comment uh, box down below. Um, yes, I have a page. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes, you 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 speak of the of my Facebook page. It's uh, the same name as my uh, email address, Rochelle okay. Gravier. Rochelle mm-hmm. Gravier. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a Facebook page and mm-hmm. uh, my Instagram, uh, La Fée Abeille, and uh, that's all. Mean, in English, uh, the Bee Fairy. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's, that's good. We have a fairy and she's a bee and her name is <laughs> Awesome. All right. Thank well, you, and, thank you and so much. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, to... Uh, to 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 ask me to do uh, this uh, interview, it was a great uh, opportunity for me. Yeah, it's it's awesome. I think it's great for anyone who's going to listen to it because I really want to have people from all over the place, all over the world. It's not about just one yes. country. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it actually you... helps me too because I get to know which type of question I would like to ask other people elsewhere in the world. And yeah, it's fantastic. And we have dogs now barking, so I'm going to let you go. And I will see you all very soon. Thank you, Lauren. Merci, Lauren. Merci. Merci, Vanessa. Au revoir.